Yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to another installment of Minor Notes. Once again, it's me, Mr. Q-U-E, and I'm so glad to be back because we have another cool song for you all. We're going to teach you how to add fractions with unlike denominators. I'm saying we because I have Miss Cole on this one again, and we also have a couple of students from Holland Crest Middle School. What up, y'all? Shout out to Ralph. Shout out to Vincent for the choreography. Now let's go ahead and get into this song, Adding Fractions. Then the bottoms match. Take one half, try to add it to one third, but you can't. At different sizes, that's absurd, but you can change the bottoms with an LCM, an LCM. Now you just multiply two times three, you get six. Now you can rewrite these, cross multiply to get the numbers at the top. Then you can add, you get five six. So we wanna add with fractions. Well, you should know they're a part of a whole. Students, do you dare to combine fractions with unlike denominators? Can you find the LCM? Turn different in the common. Cause want to can, want to can. In the bottoms match. I'm Q U E. I make the bottoms match. This is what I do when I'm adding fractions. Let's say I have one six. Gotta add that to two fifths. Make the bottoms match when I do this. First thing I do is multiply. Take six times five. Thirty is my denominator. Cross multiply to find numerators. First five times one. Numerator is five. Then six times two. Numerator is twelve. Now I have 5 over 30, add it to 12 over 30, you get 17 over 30, hurry, you want to know which way to go, all you do is follow through on this code, now do one more, try out this example, 4 over 7 plus 2 over 5, you can do it on your own this time. Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? I hope you all enjoyed the latest installment of Minor Notes. Once again, it's me, Mr. Q-U-E. And Miss Co. And we're going to show you all how to add fractions with unlike denominators. Now, Ms. Cole and I do this differently. So, Ms. Cole, can you show us your method first? Yes. I solve problems with unlike denominators by using cross multiplication. Okay. First, look at the denominators cube. What denominators do you see? We have a 6 and we have a 2. So, you want to multiply 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. So, then you can rewrite the denominators as 12. Okay. Next, you can cross multiply to find numerators. Okay. What is 2 times 2? 2 times 2 is 4. And what about 6 times 1? 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so can you add these fractions now? Yes, I can. I have denominators that are the same. Yes. So because you have denominators that are the same, you remember it by saying same, same, same. 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 Now, our answer is in 12s and add up the numerators. 4 plus 6 is 10. So my answer is 10 twelfths. Okay, there's another way to do this. Take it away, Q. Okay, now we're going to look at the least common multiple, Miss Cole. First, let's check out the number 2. And can you give me a few multiples of 2? Okay, 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's stop right there, okay? And now let's check out the number 6. Just give me the first few multiples of 6. All right, 6, 12, 18. Let's stop right there. 6, 12, and 18. Now... I want to go ahead and find the least common multiple between these. Can you point it out for us? Okay, I think it's six. Yes, six is the least common multiple. Now, Ms. Co, yes. we already have a six in this fraction. We need to figure out how to change this one to a six. So all I do is look at these list of multiples, and can you tell me which multiple is the number six in this list? Okay, one, two, three. It's the third multiple, right? So that tells me to multiply one half times 3 over 3. Okay. This is going to help me get the least common multiple. So now, let's rewrite this fraction. First one is going to stay the same. Okay. 2, 6. 2, 6. And now, can you tell us what this fraction is going to change into? Okay, 1 times 3 is 3 in the numerator. Okay. 2 times 3 is 6. 6. Now, what do we notice? <gasps> same, 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 same. So, my denominator here is going to stay the same. And let's add up the numerators. 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And now I have my answer, 5 sixths. Okay. But wait a minute, Q. Yes. You got 5 sixths, and I got 10 twelfths. Okay. Why did that happen? Are these the same or well, are they different? Well, they are the same, but you cross multiply, oh. so you need to simplify. simplify. 
divisibility rules, I'll give you a simple one. I'll ask you a question. Are these even numbers? Yes, they are. So if they're even numbers, you can divide by two. two. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by two. And when I do that, what is 10 divided by two? That's five. Okay. And what about 12 divided by two? That's six. 